October 14, 2010 was an important day at the Department of Energy's West Valley Demonstration Project as assembly of a 200,000 pound trenching machine began. Nearly three years of planning to control a plume of groundwater contaminated with radioactive strontium was beginning its final stage. The trencher's 30 foot long, 39 inch cutting bar acts like a chainsaw cutting vertically into the ground and pulling soil to the surface. As it excavates, the trench created is filled, all in one process. To contain the strontium plume, a trench 860 feet long, more than 36 inches wide, and between 19 and 30 feet deep was excavated and filled with a sorbent material to remove strontium. The trench extends into an underlying layer of clay and spans the width of the plume's leading edge. Rock, rich in a mineral called zeolite, crushed to sand-sized particles, was the material placed in the trench at West Valley. Zeolite from a mine in Idaho was selected after extensive laboratory and field testing. On October 17, 2010, trenching began. Zeolite was emptied from one-ton sacks into special trucks which directly loaded it into the trencher. During installation, three trucks were used to keep up with the trencher. To manage the excavated soil, a special conveyor was designed to collect the soil directly from the trencher and lift it into a containment structure. This approach ensured that both soil and associated groundwater were safely contained. Installation of the zeolite filled trench, referred to as a permeable treatment wall, was completed on November 18, 2010.